Notion versus Airtable, which is better. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we will be going over the two platforms of Notion and Airtable and which is better suited for you. So let's get into it. Now I will be doing a basic comparison of the basic features, their similarities and differences and their price points as well, because that can be a very deciding factor for a lot of people. So let's get into it. Now to get started, I'm going to list some of, you know, the basic features, how the UI works. We're going to go over the platforms, what they look like, what it is to use them and what kind of things can you do with each of these. So let's say if I start with Notion. In Notion, they have a free plan and one of their core strengths, I would say, is data management. If you have a lot of data, it is simple and easy to manage it all on Airtable. While on Notion, it is more so knowledge management. So what do I mean by this and how do they differ? If you look at Airtable, Airtable is focused on step-by-step -step specific information listed in a chronological fashion, in a formulated fashion. While if I have something like I'm uh, writing a brainstorming, I'm doing a brainstorming session and I want to drill it all down or I want to organize my brainstormed ideas, I would use Notion to do that. So Notion focuses more on managing knowledge while Airtable focuses more on managing specific data and specific accurate information tidbits. Now moving on to the next part on Notion, Notion has over 20 integrations available. So you can integrate multiple different applications with Notion. You can go into your connections. You can, you know, use Zapier to connect uh, multiple different applications as well. However, this is a big con that I have with Notion personally. They don't have inbuilt integrations. While Airtable is way ahead of them in this category, Airtable has seven built-in integrations, plus they have their own app market where you can integrate multiple different applications directly into your Airtable, Airtable bases. So it just simplifies the process a lot. And personally, if I'm using something and I need to integrate my Google Calendar or integrate maybe my Google Drive to manage my files. It's just super easier with native inbuilt integrations. Now, the next thing with Notion is that it involves a learning curve. And I would say that that is valid for Airtable as well, because if you want to use either of these to the fullest potentials, there is a learning curve. And for both of these, it's pretty steep. I'm not gonna say you can learn to use it to, to its like fullest potential all in one day. In terms of similarities, they both have multiple different views. As you can see over here, I have multiple different views available on Airtable as well. If I take a look at this on Airtable, I have this sample space. I can click on the views. I have multiple different views available like so. I can add grid views, create a new view, view it like so. And you have multiple different views. It's pretty similar in those terms. In terms of providing pre-created templates. So both of these platforms have amazing pre-created templates. You can browse the template galleries and use any of their pre-existing ones. Airtable definitely has it for more niches. So if you have a business idea, anything like that, Airtable probably has a um, basic template for it. So in terms of template uh, niches, categories, I would say Airtable has more, but Notion does have quite a few. So I wouldn't say that they don't have any. They do have quite a bit uh, available in terms of support, sales, human resources, marketing, HR. So they do have, you know, quite a bit available as well. Now, moving on to the um, customizable views. Both of them are customizable, both of them can generate custom reports, and there is one basic difference that can be a maker or breaker for you, which is invoicing and budgeting. If you want to do invoicing and budgeting, Airtable is the way to go. You can't do invoicing and budgeting directly on uh, Notion. And this is something that I have always felt like is a, it's like a very big con because if I go on to Airtable over here, create a team space and I want to manage my inventory or, you know, I want to do anything regarding numbers, it's not easy to do that. And this is especially annoying when I just feel like 
I want to do something very simple and it's not available. The features are just not there for Airtable. You can see you can create number fields, but other than number fields and basic formulas that you can add, uh, there are not a lot of options. And in terms of invoicing, inventory management, that has a lot of different calculations. Obviously, you can set up basic versions of that on Notion, but Airtable is way, way, way ahead in that specific category. Both have desktop applications you can download and you can easily manage them. Now, both are super popular for their own productivity uses. I definitely do understand why there are markets for both of these applications. Now, moving on towards the pricing, Airtable has a free version, so does Notion, where they, in Notion, they have collaborative workspaces, seven day page histories, basic page analytics, and uh, you can invite over 10 guests. With Airtable, you get unlimited bases, you can add five creators or editors, you can create unlimited commenter and read only users. So this is a limitation that is present on present on the free version of Notion where you can only invite 10 guests while on Airtable, you can add as many read only users. You have one exchange in per base as well as one sync instructions. Uh, you have 1200 records per base you can create with two gigabytes of attachments per base that you can create. Then you have the plus version starting at $10 per seat per month where you have 5,000 records per base. You can create five gigabytes of attachments you can add with a six month revision and automatic table cycling. Now, going towards the cheapest plan available on Notion, which is slightly cheaper than Airtable, starting only at $8 per user per month, you have unlimited blocks for teams, unlimited file uploads, 30-day page history. Now, they provide you with a 30-day page history, while Airtable provides you with a 6-month revision and snapshot history. So, in terms of keeping your records safe, Airtable, again, with the two extra dollars, it just wins my heart because I have mistakes I need to fix, I need to rewind data, I need to re-access data. So it lets me do all of that with their six month history. And you can invite over 100 guests on Notion. Then you have the business version. They are pretty similar. And I don't feel like I need to do a step-by-step -step comparison. You guys can basically understand the basic differences, how they're going to differ. The pricing is different. Airtable is slightly more expensive. Now, which one do I recommend? It's difficult to say. Now, if you... So, in terms of both of these applications, which one do I really recommend? Now, if you want to organize your data, if you have fields like these, if you have purchase histories, purchase orders, or daily tasks you want to manage, then I think that Airtable can organize specific information very accurately. But if you're trying to build your daily routine, then you can organize your knowledge, ideas, things you're learning, things you want to do easily on Notion as well. But if you want to organize things such as maybe, you know, information or you have things like uh, you are learning in university and you have multiple different subjects and you want to organize them, you know, the files, the documents, all that, then Airtable is the better option for you. So I hope you guys found this video helpful and this has helped you understand the differences and similarities of both of these productivity platforms. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions or queries, leave those in the comment box down below. I would love to help you guys out and also share this video with a friend. And I will catch you guys in the next video.